Hello Virgo and welcome to this sacred space. I'm Adriana and we're going to go on a journey together to uncover your spiritual message and focus for this week. So the energy sent to you by the universe, lovely princess of wands. This is a reminder to stay in touch with your open hearted heart's desire to really be unafraid to be your true self. There's a freedom in this and a lightness that this card is is shining forth right now so it's free to be you free to be you and me and mostly free to be you just the this kind of open unburdened light feeling of of being really i've got the eternal lightness of being in my head which was a, a different thing altogether <laughs> but um really that's it that you have to look at yourself this week with a little bit of fresh eyes as if you're on a new path and you've never been here before i do feel all sorts of freshness and awakening and just kind of things starting to stir like i know it's spring right now and we have the spring equinox coming up but I feel that in your world that there's a lot of freshness, a lot of newness, and that's where the universe would love you to be focusing right now. Now, interesting, we are reacting with the Chernunos. So I feel like in this case, this card right here is talking about that raw primal kind of force of growth, that spring growth. and how wild nature can be sometimes. And this is talking about that unfettered or untrammeled, un, um, unhinged, especially <laughs> um, this unhinged natural power. When you see something big in nature, like a huge waterfall, or maybe you witness something kind of cataclysmic, like an avalanche and you're, you're reminded or a tornado or hurricane, you're reminded of that sheer power in nature itself. And that's what's going on with this card here. We're wanting to figure out a way to civilize this energy and to make it more energizing for you rather than overwhelming. So there may be a bit of resistance to this awakening, this freshness, this change. And as a result, this energy isn't able to flow freely because there might be some resistance to it. And then that actually the resistance gives it more power because then it, the energy goes into the tension rather than the flow. So understand that if things are feeling a little bit shaky or unnerving or you're feeling a little bit out of sorts, the idea is to look at everything with fresh eyes and recheck in with your heart and be unafraid to put those heart's desires forward. Okay, let's continue. We've got Nine of Swords, that anxiety we were talking about, the resistance, the lovers. Interesting, because these two cards, you can even see the figures. This is like during or previously, and this is after. So these two cards are talking to each other. One more. King of Cups. Interesting. So you're being asked, Virgo, to embrace a whole different set of choices, a whole different set of emotional choices. These choices may be about relationships. They may be about things that are presented to you. But the idea is that it's time to shift the way that you feel emotionally about these choices. The King of Cups looks at this difference, this newness, again, that freshness, the spring growth. You can see all sorts of stuff, the dough, the, um, the flowers, the new leaves. The King of Cups understands that these are big opportunities for you, good opportunities for growth and the waking up. And the King of Cups embraces and loves and expects these opportunities to work out well for you. The Knight of Swords doesn't want to face them. They're so different and they're so radically new and they are so just, I can't come up with a different word than different. <laughs> What's that for English? They're just so different than the choices you've made before. And you, again, you don't know what to do with them. You've got this wild energy just kind of going through and you're not sure what to do. You're not sure how to channel it. And you're afraid that this wild energy means that these choices are bad. 
And that's not the case at all. These, these choices are new opportunities. But the key here at Virgo is to get out of the head and really touch the deeper emotions and ask them how they feel. How do they really feel about this choice? How do I really feel? Not what do I think about this choice? How do I really feel about this choice? What is this choice gonna do for me? And what possibilities are inherent with this choice? The King of Cups is also just a gentle reminder that you have better and newer and brighter things on the horizon. This I feel for you strongly is a card of hope a card of awakening and, and, and things being new, but also familiar. Familiar in the way that your soul and your higher self are going to recognize them as extensions of their desires, extensions of the desires of the higher self. And so it's coming home to something which is different, but at the same time, very familiar. And what we're, what we're dealing with here is when the soul is able to just shine forth with, it, with its desires and the, the body follows, there's an element of not knowing, there's an element of exploration, and that's the beauty of it. We get all into all sorts of stuff, Virgo, you're getting into all sorts of stuff when you're trying to harness something by controlling it or repressing it or worrying about it. This card here. That's what's getting you into trouble. But if you can just trust this journey and trust that there's more opening up on the horizon for you, then the energy is going to be able to flow through. It will calm down and then you will see it focus into action. So this is trusting, it's flowing, and then eventually focusing. Okay, one more card, Virgo. And I'm getting a message from the bottom of the deck. Three of Pentacles. This is the reward. This is things that you've been working hard at and you finally achieved some modicum of success. So remember those better things on the horizon we talked about? They are coming. This is tangible proof of that. So again, if you're feeling off, don't feel like it's out of your control or that you're going off the rails or something like that. You're, things are moving, things are shifting, things are reawakening and reopening for you, but this is all very good. Okay, questions about that, please let me know in the comments below. And thank you again for joining me. If you haven't subscribed already, I would invite you to do so. And I do these weeks, these weeks every reading, these readings every week, so that you can move forward on your spiritual path supported. And if you're looking for even more support than that, I invite you to check out my website, trueguidancetarot.com. There's a link in the description below for private, personal, one-on-one -on -one readings to really hone in and focus on your best way forward. So until next time, I'll look forward to seeing you. Thank you so much, and I really do appreciate your presence.